Good evening, I'm Dylan Austin. And I'm Mackenzie Henderson. So the COVID-19 pandemic hurt cities across the nation, of course, digging into revenues as stay-at-home orders wiped out travel last summer. But with travel underway once again, communities in Lee County are looking to make a comeback. WGEM's Blake Salmon has more from Southeast Iowa. Fort Madison City Manager David Varley says in a regular year, the city's hotel motel tax would bring in roughly a quarter of a million dollars. But that's not the case this year after a summer of lockdowns and travel restrictions. We'll be down about 30% hotel motel revenue. That's about $56,000 from compared to last year. He says the outlook for the next fiscal year, which starts on July 1st, is much improved. But we do hear that the things are going fairly well for the hotels and we hope that they have a good year and that they'll improve over the current year and that they'll recover well from the pandemic. Local businesses say they're also looking forward to upcoming events like the Lee County Fair and Tri-State Rodeo. All of the fairs and the festivals have opened back up again. So we're gonna, we're hoping to start seeing an increase toward the end of the month. The situation is similar here in Keokuk. City manager Cole O'Donnell says in 2019, the city's hotel motel tax generated just under $300,000. In 2020, it only generated $150,000. I've worked in hospitality for seven years and I've never seen a summer so low in this area. But Hampton Inn general manager Heather Butcher says with both business and leisure travel picking up, they're seeing more and more people coming through their doors. We have. Uh, Navu travel, we have weddings, we have people coming for family reunions. It's just always crazy in July and I'm hoping that we see that craziness again because it has been uh, quiet last year. Blake Salmon, WGEM News, Lee County. Okay.